Uh, hey, Gunnar, good to see you. Uh, What's up, Jim? Hey, this is the first time we've gotten to speak to you since you were named uh, an All-Pro. I'm just wondering who delivered that news to you and, and what that moment was like for you. In typical fashion, it was Jake Bailey. He's the one, <laughs> I mean, he's given me a lot of good news. But, yeah, he he called me, I think, and he was like, congrats, bro, you know. And it was, it was awesome because me, me and him both made it on that list. So Jake's usually on top of that stuff. So he's, he's, my, he's my ears, eyes and ears. And do you ever stop to think about how far you've come from being a defensive back in college to a, an all-pro punt returner? No, nope, because i got a lot further to go, man. Thanks. No. Zach Cox and then Mark Daniels. Hey, Gunner. Good to talk to you. Uh, I know you've spoken in the past about how much respect you had for, for Julian. Uh, I was just wondering what your – reaction was to to him retiring and and what kind of impact he had on you as a player over these last two years man I, I don't think I could put it into words man he took me under his wing uh, me and Jacoby both um, kind of being underdog receivers you know Coz was a former quarterback and me I didn't play receiver so he kind of showed us the ropes uh, and it you know it, it sucked but I know how he is he wants to be his best out there and if he doesn't feel like he can do that he don't even want to be out there he's the ultimate competitor, man. And that's, that's what I learned from him. Toughest dude I ever played with. Great. Thank you. Yep. Next up, we'll go to Mark Daniels, then Mike Reese. Hey, Gunnar. Hope all's well. So, um, you know, after, after becoming, you know, an, an all pro pun returner and, you know, setting a record and leading the league in that, you know, obviously you said there are things you need to improve on, you know, you, you take those accolades, but what do you hope to improve on? What, what are your goals, you know, heading into this off season after, you know, having a little success? Bigger, faster, stronger, and just earn everything that I get. Whatever, whatever I end up doing or playing or whatever, it's going to be what I earn. So, you know how that is. And um, if I can improve the team, that's that's what I hope I can do by being out on the field. But everybody's got jobs to earn. And did you change anything this off season? Nope. Stayed right here in Foxborough. Same thing I did last year. So it's the best place to be. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next, we'll go to Mike Reese and Evan Lazar. Hey, Gunner, how you doing? What's up, Mike? I'm good. How are you? I lost a bet. I I, I guess Def Leppard was going to be on the shirt today, so I'm I'm oh, down right. one. I'm down one. Right from the squad. Straight up Patriots. <laughs> That's the way to go. Um, yep. You know what? I, I I asked James White this question before the schedule came out, and now that the schedule is out, I'd love to ask you just from a player's perspective. Like what, what stood out to you when, you know, when you're watching that, like, what are you interested in? To be honest, I didn't really peek at it. Um, I've obviously have heard of what, who our home games are and stuff, but nothing, nothing really to me. I mean, we're in phase one right now. So I got a ton of other stuff that I'm working on obviously and us as a team, but I ain't really looked at the schedule. What, what peaked out to you, Mike? Is it probably well, before? I, how did you know? Like, <laughs> I mean, we go week to week as reporters, Gunner. You know, like I, I don't like right. to look ahead, but sometimes I have to. Uh huh. Yeah. And so what do you, what, like, that was one that interested me because I was curious if it was going to be late, you know, bad weather, early. And so, I mean, when you saw that, I'm curious, what did you think? I'm excited. We get, we get the defending Super Bowl champs at Gillette. So. Awesome. And you, you, you um, introduced a saying to me that I like, hustle is free. Um, mm -hmm. What has the hustle look like for you this offseason? Sure, it's been eating and running and lifting. That's the hustle. Next, we'll go to Evan Lazar, then Alan Siegel. Hey, Gunnar, I uh, just wanted to ask you this time of year when you're on your own, how much work do you put on uh, into punt returning, kick returning versus working on wide receiver drills when you're on your own? Uh, I mean, we're so early in it that most of it is just the base, like being in good shape um, and lifting, getting strong and just running, not, not necessarily running routes or catching punts, just running, getting my legs up to where they need to be. And then I think phase two is when we'll really start uh, with all that. And when it comes to punts, you can never catch enough punts. So I, I bug Jake to pump me balls every once in a while. Um, but it, it is, it's, 
a little bit of both, I guess, but nothing too crazy right now. Just catch as, catch as many footballs and catch as many punts as I can. Alan Siegel, and then we'll go to Chris Mason. Great. Gunnar, how are you doing this afternoon? I'm good. How are you? Okay, thanks. Gunnar, obviously you're, you're always a, an excitable guy and an upbeat guy, um, but I, I'm wondering if this year, because it looks like we're going to get back to normal, there's going to be fans in the stands, and everything's mm -hmm. good. just getting back to where the, the way things used to be. Compared to last year, in your mind, started, and this year, is there an excitable atmosphere in players that you've talked to, your teammates and stuff, about what is ahead this year versus what you went through last year? Yeah, I mean, at this point, last year, guys, were wondering if we were even going to have a season. You know, everybody's inside and nobody really knows. But I think, I mean, now that we're here and the fans are going to be in the stands and um, days are going to be a little more normal what they were. And we're obviously having an off season, which is huge. Uh, guys are pumped. Guys, we're itching to get back in the facility and start working out. And it's great seeing all the guys and stuff. And finally, just curious, anybody call you Caleb anymore or just Gunner? No, I, I've never been called Caleb. Uh, the only people who ever called me Caleb were the substitute teachers in school. You know, that's, <laughs> that's about the only people. Great. Thanks, Gunner. Yep. And the last hand I see raised is Chris Mason. So if anybody else has any uh, more questions for Gunner, um, Chris Mason, go ahead. Hey, Gunner. Thanks for taking the time to do this. Absolutely. Um, I know you mentioned Julian taking you under his wing earlier. I'm just wondering, what's your biggest takeaway from the, you know, two seasons you got to spend with him? What do you think you'll remember most? Two words, piss and vinegar. That's what that dude was all about. I don't know if I can say that on here, but those are the two things that I'll never forget. Thank that, you. Oh, I got two more, competitive stamina. That was his other, that was his other one. I'm sure y'all have heard that before, so. Yeah, Those two things are stuck in there, written down in concrete. Awesome. Thanks, Gunnar. Yep. All right, I see other hands raised. So I think we'll end it there. Gunnar, thanks a lot for taking the time thanks, today. Guys. Really appreciate it.